If you're looking for the salad dressing, it's over here. Uh -huh. I'm double-checking the flight schedule. Now, is this a truly successful woman? So busy that the only time she looks has to look over at tribal clients is, I mean, it's during dinner. I mean, what do you do on the planes, Mom? I mean, think of recipes? <laughs> you wait and see how you handle being hard-pressed for time when your career takes off. Well, why haven't you taken off for Chicago if you're so busy? Now, this is excellent. There's an early morning flight that gets us to O'Hare at 12. Us? I'm sorry. Is that too early in the day for you? Well, I thought I made myself perfectly clear. I am not going back to Chicago with or without you. I'm staying here in Landview. Rachel, honey, it just doesn't even make sense. <laughs> Why? Because it's what I want to do? No, because you're a student at Northwestern University, already enrolled, already late. You transfer to Landview University, you're going to play havoc with your credits. Now, you need to be back in Chicago. No, you need me to be back in Chicago. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the real reason you want me to go back with you. Rachel, your education... Oh, no, this is nothing important. to do with my education. This is about you and Dad and the nuclear war you've got against each other. You're talking about your future, not your father. Oh, really? Since when did what I do with my life become so important to you? It always has been. Oh, come on. When I was growing up, nothing I did mattered. Except, of course, that I stayed out of your way while you focused on your work. Rachel, that's not true. You just want me back in Chicago to prove that you can get me back. I mean, the bottom line is, I'm still your trophy. The prize you get for beating Dad. Except this time, you just might not win. So why don't you scratch out, get Rachel back in your little book, get on your plane, fly home, and focus on your work. Ladies room around here somewhere. <laughs> Rachel at one is four p.m. Rachel. Hi, honey. What? 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 It's okay. It's okay. What? Rachel. Why don't you tell your mom you're sorry if you feel so bad? I mean, I, I feel bad about going off on her like that, but... <laughs> sometimes, no. A lot of the times, she makes me feel like I'm just... another item on her agenda. You know, something she has to get through so that at the end of the, the day, she can say, oh, I've done this, or I have this, or I am this. Your mom sounds like a very... dynamic woman. And getting too close to a power source like that can make, sometimes make your hair stand on end. <laughs> tell me about it. Believe me, I could. Let me tell you. I remember my mom and I used to fight over, what, about everything? I mean, from what I ate at supper to how hem my prom dress should be. I mean, you would think we hated each other. Of course, around prom time, mothers and daughters really do hate each other. <laughs> You don't think I was wrong to talk to her that way, do you? Let her know how you feel. But you have to get to where you can listen to how she feels. And the more honest talk, the better. Thanks. You're welcome. Let me get you another soda. My true. Hang on. make a phone call and I'm sorry things got so messy earlier. God, I'd really like to. Hi. <laughs> so we meet again. Rachel. Thanks. Again. I didn't realize I was interrupting. Mm, no, look, I have to go. I have a psych class in ten minutes. So. Well, then go ahead. Go ahead. Rachel. I just want you to know I'm not going to go back to Chicago. Not until we've had a chance to work this thing through, okay? Okay. Uh, you drop this. I gotta go. <clears throat> I 
I think I should go too. You, could you just wait a minute? I'd, I'd really like us to talk. I'd like to know exactly what you're telling my daughter to do. Whatever Rachel and I were talking about was what we were talking about, as in uh, the two of us together, private. Oh, privacy is such a thorny issue. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's very simple. Uh, privacy means my business is my business, period. Ah, all right. Well, for the purposes of uh, argument, let's say you and Rachel were discussing me and drawing conclusions, passing judgments. And, of course, if it concerns me, then by your definition, it is legitimately my business. Correct? You're a hell of a lawyer, aren't you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Please. Okay. We were talking about you, and um, Rachel is just upset that you want her to go back to Chicago. Oh, I know. <laughs> Let me give you fair warning right up front, Miss Price. Please don't interfere in my dealings with Rachel. Interference is not what I had in mind. Good. Good. Because I've got all I can handle right now with Hank chiseling away at my relationship with Rachel. I. I don't think I could take his girlfriend. Listen, Richard. I wouldn't do that if I was his girlfriend, which I assure you, I am not. Whatever your involvement is with him, that is, that's, that is private, I, as far as I'm concerned, all right? Thank you. I put that man out of my life a long time ago, but... Rachel. Rachel's the most important thing in my life. And I will not have anyone come between us. Not Hank. And not his... No, I'm girlfriend. <laughs> What's wrong? Ah. It's a migraine. Do you have those pills? Yeah, yes. Right here. Good. Thank you. Since you're so eager to help, maybe you could do one other thing. What is that? <clears throat> Please keep away from Rachel. Tomorrow, if you think you're safe in your hotel or motel room, think again. 2020's hidden cameras show you how you could check out a victim of a violent crime. Watch 2020. Now, stay tuned for General Hospital, following an ABC News Brief.